Howdy ho stampers, how you doing today? Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to do this little piece right here. I didn't know what to call it, so I'm just going to call it this little piece. So we're going to show you how to do this right here, but I wanted to show you a few examples. Uh, it looks like it's fairly easy, and it is. It's just, you might not figure, you might not know how to figure it out, how to, how to do it. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do this little piece right here. Um, this is my black and white one. Love black and white. You'll, you know that. Um, my clothes, my, my cards, I just love black and white. And then this one right here, I wanted to show you a couple of the elements on here. This is, um, I'm going to put a picture behind here. I thought that would be really cute, but it just kind of goes along with the whole camera theme. And um, I used the O-Snap o stamp set. Um, it's actually called um, Hip Notes, but I used the O-Snap from in there. And then to coordinate with that, um, I, used the, um, I used our new uh, rotary stamp. And on the inside of it, I just stamped Picture Perfect. So um, you can see how things coordinate with ours. I also wanted to show you a couple more um, stamps, or a couple more cards that I did that also kind of coordinate with this. And um, they're all over on my blog, so you can hop on over there and you can see the ingredients and whatnot. This is done with the Starburst bundle. Um, I added a few little embellishments, all coordinate. Used um, the Watercolor Wonder Designer Series paper. Um, on this one right here, uh, I, I moved the little piece that we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do, but it's just kind of a focal point. Um, just again, using a lot of embellishments. On this one right here, I used um, the new vellum paper along with the uh, gold washi tape, the gold uh, foil paper, the gold twine, and then the gold um, uh, clothespin. So it all just kind of coordinates together. Again, I have some more samples over on my, on my blog, but I just wanted to show you how to do this one just to give you an example on how to do it. Okay, we're going to work on this piece right here. So I started off with a regular sized piece of cardstock for my card base and it is 11 by 4 and a quarter and it's scored at 5 and a half. The next piece that I did was um, the chevron pattern and I used my chevron folder and you have to be careful because the chevron, if you want it to run the long way, the way this card is running, is you have to put it in this way, but then the chevrons go this way. Well, it lends itself perfectly to this card because it ends right here, and it gave me room, a flat piece, to um, just stamp my words. So what I did was I just lined up the top of this with the top of the embossing folder, and then that left, right here, that left the bottom for... Um, that left the bottom for my words. Okay, so that was my chevron folder, and then um, I just I just attached that with some pop dots. And um, when I go to do this, like I said, I like to I like to have my cards open from the top um, rather than the side. I just think it, it's it's just much more elegant. Okay, so let me show you how I did this little piece right here. That's the whole focus for today's card. So what I did was I took my trimmer, my Stampin' Up trimmer, and um, you want to decide how big or how long you want this piece to be. This one happens to be four and a quarter. So I just took a four and a quarter. Okay, that's going to be my that's going to be my the size of my card right here. So I took this and I cut it at four and a quarter. And then um, if you want to do a bunch of them, just keep cutting along. So then next, what you have to do is you have to decide how wide you want this to be. So how wide do you want your um, little strips to be? What I did originally with my um, original card was, and that was this one right here for the washi tape, I just took and I measured what my washi tape was with all three pieces together. So I took this and I just measured it and it came out to be one and a half. So I've just been playing with one and a half inch pieces. Okay, so now what you want to know is that, okay, so you've, you've figured out how, how long you want it to be and then you want to figure out how wide you want it to be. So I'm going to go with just the one and a half. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So I started with a four and a quarter inch piece because that's how long I wanted it. Now I've got to start my strips at one and a half. The easiest way I found to do this was to line up your point right here. All right, that's the beginning point. And then you want this one at the one and a half inch mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I just need to cut off this corner. So I've got my point up here at in the, in the little uh, gully. And then I've got this piece right here at one and a half. Whoops, let me get it over to one and a half. All right, so we've got the one and a half inch mark right here. And we've got this point right in the gully. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to trim off this little triangle. And now we've got the start, okay, we've got the start of our um, piece. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like I said, I do a bunch of them at a time, and these are my, my bases so that I can attach either my washi tape or my papers or whatever. So now I have my base, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up, this, this um, piece. Now you see it's not straight here, so I can't use the top part of my, my uh, trimmer. I'm just I'm lining it up at the one and a half inch mark. That's why it's good to go one, one, qu one and a quarter, one and a half, whatever, um, just so that you can line it up with your pieces. And then you just keep sliding it over. So now I have one... I have two, I have three, I can do as many as I want, and what I do is I just cut a bunch of them, keep them in a little folder, and then when I'm ready to do one of these, I'm ready to go. Alrighty? So here are my pieces, and I'll just save the other ones for an, a rainy day. Now I'm going to take off this piece right here so you can see me working on... Uh, black instead of uh, my background being white on white here. So, okay, so here's my piece. And now if I was to do my washi tape, what I would do is I would just take the washi tape and just um, tape it over. And that's very, very easy. Um, with this right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down my silicone mat. And you do want your silicone mat down. And I'm just going to take my black and white pieces. And these are cut at half inch strips. All right. Now with um, my washi tape, they are different sizes. But remember, I, I, um, I, measured the sizes of them and they were one and a half inches which is going to be the same as my my half inch pieces here one a half a half and a half makes one and a half all right so now this is why you want to make sure that you um you want to just make sure that you um have your uh silicone mat down because these pieces are small and you don't want to get it all over your working area all righty so i cut these at one and a half and i cut these pieces the exact same way i cut these and um, i already had my little um my little bevels on them, all right? So now I'm going to take my um, adhesive, and I'm just going to run it down. All right, and see if you, if, you go off the, uh, if you go off the paper, then you know you're going to be okay because you've got your silicone mat down there. All righty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm just going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, adhering these to my little piece right here. So I'm just lining it up with the side of, I'm just lining it up with the side of the uh, piece that I already cut. And here's my black one. Okay. And see how they're nice and even and nice and straight. All right. And then I have my white piece. Now, if by chance, and I'm not sure if this is, yep. If by chance you've got a little hang over here like I do right over here, all you have to do is just take your trimmer and trim it off. And um, you can either use the trimmer that we just used or you can use the... Um, you can use your guillotine trimmer, which is on the clearance rack, and that is one of my favorite trimmers for things that are this um, that are this small. All right, so I'm just going to take it. I'm going to trim off that little overage right there, and I have my piece ready to add to my card base right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add. I'm just going to add my. Um, I'm just going to add my pop dots. Okay, now it's time to do our little bow, and with my bow. I'm going to just take my envelope punch board. I cut a piece that is seven and one eighth inch by, and this one is um, smaller than an inch. So I did it. Um, uh, I did it seven eighths of an inch wide. You can't go any smaller than that because um, otherwise, when you punch your little your little divots in here, it's going to um, be too small, and you'll cut it right in half. So this is um, seven and one eighth by seven eighths of an inch, and I'm just going to punch at um, one and a half and three and a half because three and a half is the, is the middle. And then I'm going to turn it around and do my one and a half. And then, um, oops, turn it this way and do my one and a half. All right, so what you're doing is you're just making your um, divots all the way down. And I've, I've got another video on this one. I'm just doing this one really quick. Um, I wanted to show you that with cardstock, it's not, it's not difficult. You just do need your bone folder so that you can break up those little fibers, one and a half over here. And then just punch. Let's get our little tabs done here. I just put that right in the middle and punch out my tab there and punch it right here in the middle and punch that tab right out there. You see this is as small as you can go with your, um, this is as small as you can go with your um, width of it because if you went any smaller you would end up seeing or you would end up cutting those in between. So the smallest that you can do is um, seven eighths of an inch. All right. So now is where I need to use my um, my bone folder because um, you really want to make sure that you get this curved because cardstock is a lot um, thicker than our designer series paper. And I just want to make sure that I get this nice and curved. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your mini glue dots 
and what I do is I just put my mini glue dots, one on this side, right in the middle, and then I take this one right in the middle, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to bend it over just like this, and then push this one back, and then you're going to bend this one over just like this and push this one back. And then you're ready to put your um, your little ribbon. I just used um, our little ribbon right here to um, decorate the inside of it. And this is what we have for a card at when we're finished. And if you have any questions, like I said, hop on over to my blog, give me an email, uh, let me know what you're thinking. And I hope you liked my post for today. Take care and have a great day.